We're under caution at Daytona. Michael Waltrip has just taken a stinging side winder flyer from the trioval down toward turn one. One car got in the back of him and he went for a ride and he's climbing out okay. Under his own power. They're not having to help him out. That's a good sight. Out of the racetrack. Right there. He gets touched right there. Now this car goes way up in the air. When it turns around, you see it start to fly there. Turns completely up and pancakes right down on the roof. That's what did all that roof damage you were talking about. Then it goes into a barrel roll. Side over side. Many, many times. Now it's on the nose of the car and then hits hard on the back. That looked much like Ricky Rudd's flip here in 1984 in what was then the Bush Glass. Another look, you see the back end just lifts up off the ground. You see it's going to come right down on that, about the wind, top of the windshield. Any way you look at that, that was hard contact. That just tells you the cars are very, very strong. You know, in recent years, NASCAR has mandated added bars to the roll cage including one down the center of the windshield and one which would be where your vent window would be if cars still had those and I think that bar that vertical bar helped prevent the windshield the top of the windshield of Michael Waltrip's car from collapsing down on him and certainly saved him from serious injury you're right and that bar runs right down in that area of the, of the windshield and they call it the Earnhardt bar driver I'll take a look at this moment that is Michael Waltrip, out of control, tri-oval, into a series of sidewinders. Nine shattering snap rolls. Less than an hour later, he was out of the infield care center, into his Winston Cup.